All right, YouTube. This is how I turned a wet dry filter um, into a sump in my basement. I plumbed it through the floor. So I don't hear anything upstairs at all. And my reef keeper over here that's controlling everything from upstairs on the main display. I got rid of all the bio balls. I have a big chunk of algae in there, some live rock, some little LED lights all the way around. They're not very bright. I'll probably end up putting a different light in. I have my carbon in there. Drops into here. Has my eShops, I believe it's a PSK 100 protein skimmer, which is working great. Uh, Mag 7 return pump over there so if anybody tells you that a mag 7 will not pump upward of six plus feet there it is right there so it is pumping up probably six and a half feet if not a little bit more and it's got plenty of flow the uh, GFO reactor is not um, currently hooked up right now a titanium heater which is in the back I got plumbed in right there with the big loop in it is the auto top off which is this water jug right here pops over to the sump made my little shelf for it over here is my water making and testing area with my sink nice long hose so I just take the hose off of here run it straight over to that bucket fill my top off I was thinking of plumbing it straight into the 32 gallon I believe that is brute container but the problem with that is if these little float switches go bad it's gonna dump 30 some odd gallons straight into the sump and I've had these go bad before they last uh, they last a little over a year you can see them in the back of the sump right there there's two of them one is um, set just a hair higher than the other so if one doesn't shut off the other is the fail safe and shuts it down it's a good system it works it's a BRS do-it-yourself kit that uh, obviously those aren't the switches it comes with it's the same type those are just replacement ones because the other ones died but yeah I got my test kits and stuff like that lucky enough to have a sink down here in the basement I got the RO water running right now but uh, oh, there's my mixing buckets there's a pump in those buckets that pumps up to the display well up to the sump anyways and refills the sump I'm kind of hoping I haven't done a water change yet but I'm kind of hoping that the level from here up is like five gallons that way there I can do a five gallon water change at a time by opening this valve I'm hoping I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Um, this protein skimmer was not working very well uh, under the tank. It was a uh, smaller sump than this. Uh, well, four sizes smaller than this. Very tiny. It was the only thing that fit underneath the tank. And the water level, because it was so small, the water level was mm, down in here. And now the water level, I can raise it protein skin is working phenomenal now so it's a 125 gallon uh, oceanic tech series tank that's upstairs I know the sump is a little small for it but it is not overstocked at all I think there's nine fish in it or something like that a bunch of different corals so I mean we don't need a huge sump but this is uh, definitely seems to be working pretty good wiring I gotta clean up right there but uh, that's the dis that's the sump I'll give you an update on it I'll we'll probably do a video of the uh, tank upstairs soon and that's it thanks for watching